What's up, Peak students? Um, there are some questions about the potentiometers um, in the kit. So I got the, the breadboard right here. Um, sorry, I have the mirror image on the camera, but I'm too lazy to change it. Um, the potentiometers come in these in this little tiny foam thing. It's attached. It's a three-pin potentiometer. The most efficient way to use this on the breadboard is to utilize the big split that goes down the middle. So I'm going to put it in and it is straddling the, um, the split. And so you have two on um, one side and then you have one on the other. Um, and that way each of the three pins of the potentiometer is going to get its own set of rows on either side, maximizing the amount of rows available. Um, one thing to consider or be careful of is when you put this in, it is, it's flat pins and those are kind of annoying and they're not cylindrical like the, uh, the nice jumper wires. And so, um, the, the holes of the breadboard don't push on it, um, equally in all directions. So what I tend to do is I will align it, making sure I'm going straight. And then I just kind of wiggle it back and forth until I feel that it's pleasantly firm. Um, in the breadboard holes, I want to make sure that I haven't bent it either this direction or this direction. Remember, you got these multiple axes you got to worry about um, if it's, you know, when, when it's uh, where it could bend. And then the last thing, I'll find it, is the little tiny post that turns it. It's uh, the tiniest little uh, uh, hex, plastic hex wrench. And then it just goes in and sandwiches inside. And now you have a potentiometer that you can turn and hopefully dim your LED.